Yo, it's me, your boy, Shonen Boy, here today. I'm here today to do a review of the latest chapter of One Piece, chapter 1120, Atlas. So let's get straight into this. So if you've not read the latest chapter of One Piece, go and read it and come back to the review because I will be getting into spoilers. Okay, let's get straight into this in 3, 2, 1, let's go. So the cover page for this chapter is uh, Yamato and uh, Denjiro, and uh, Denjiro has caught the uh, kids that were throwing, you know, rocks at uh, Yamato and put him in a net and put him in timeout and uh, yeah that's pretty much all that's happening with the uh, cover page and uh, yeah uh, moving on, so we get to see uh, Punk Hazard uh, 26 years ago, and we see uh, Clover, and we also see a dragon in the background as well, um, which is uh, interesting. Um, Clover goes up to uh, Vegapunk and asks him uh, to uh, research the Void Sentry with him, and he wants to uh, research the Void Sentry, and uh, that's like his whole sort of like mission in life is to uh, you know find out what happened in the Void century which is like um dude like you're going to a government facility and asking a vegapunk who is part of the government right now the most you know um intelligent man on the planet to research the void century which you know that the government has said to not research the void century they have said this um you know out to everyone if you research the void century we will find you and we will kill you because we do not want this information to get that um get out there into the world because you know the the Gorosei want to suppress what happened in the Void Century. They don't want this information out there in the world. And if you research it, they will find you. They will kill you. Okay? It's just uh, it's just an unspoken like you know rule that you do not um you know research the Void Century. And like Clover, he's like, nah, man, I'm going to research this. You know, fuck the government. I'm gonna do this. So uh, yeah, and he's asking Vegapunk uh to uh you know do this. And this is um you know, when Vegapunk had his, like, really big head, so, uh, yeah, and he's working at, you know, at the Punk Hazard, so, uh, yeah, and, uh, we also find out that, uh, Clover is a, a D member, he is a D clan member, and, uh, he also had a brother, I don't know if there were you know, blood related, but apparently his big brother, um, was gunned down right in front of him, and, uh, that, but they were researching the Void Sentry, and, uh, they keep releasing, um, you know, Clover, um, to, you know, because, um, they want to snuff out his, uh, allies, the people who are, like, you know, helping him research the, uh, Void Sentry, which is like, oh, okay, so that's the reason why they keep on releasing you, Clover, is because they want to snuff out your or, you know, the people who are helping you, I mean, you know, research the Void Century. Cypherpole is on your ass. Like, you should not be, you know, researching this. Like, um, you know, if you, re you know, if you saw, you know, your big brother die in the hands of the government, Cypherpole, probably, um, you know, wouldn't that be like, uh, you know, wouldn't that be like, oh yeah, like, no, I shouldn't be doing this, like, I shouldn't be researching the Void Century, but no, he's, he's dedicated to his, uh, work, I guess you could say, so, well, yeah, so then we, um, then we, then we get shown about, you know, Ohara and all the books, and, uh, you know, Vegapunk going there to, you know, give the flowers, um, we saw him with, uh, you know, um, in this flashback with our dragon, when they went to Ohara, um, after the incident at Ohara, and he's looking at, you know, um, Robin's wanted poster, and, uh, you know, we see Caesar, he doesn't really, like, he's like, oh, yeah, they got that person, you know, um, Clover, and, uh, he's, I mean, he's rejoicing at his death, um, because, you know, it's, um, it's, um, it's Caesar, like, you know, he's a scumbag, but, uh, yeah, so, um, you know, uh, Vegapunk was very, you know, sort of, like, caught up about this, because, I mean, Clover was a friend of his, he was a friend of, um, you know, Vegapunk's, and, uh, they worked, um, they probably worked together, and they probably were, you know, really close friends, um, but, like, Clover wanted to research the Void Century, and, uh, you know, Vegapunk was part of the world government at this point, and, um, and he wanted him to, like, you know, um, leave the world government, and, you know, and, 
and research the void century with him and it's just like mate i'm not going to do that i'm not going to risk my life um you know researching the void century when the gov when the government has said to everyone if you research this um we will find you and we will kill you so uh, yeah so that's what vegapunk said and um to a clover and uh this is like his uh you know message to the uh, world but the message when it comes to vegapunk's message it didn't really talk about the uh, void century that very much like we found out about joy boy and the rest of the world you know found about um you know found out about joy boy and uh you know what happened uh you know um 900 years ago about the water levels rising and everything like that um but he didn't really talk about the like ancient kingdom or anything like that um he did talk about the ancient kingdom and like its whereabouts but like um that it's at the bottom of the ocean but he didn't really talk about you know who um you know who lived in the ancient kingdom what was the ancient kingdom about um you know what uh, happened to it and um, you know all this other stuff like he didn't really talk about the pacifics about you know the uh, void century and i think that's because vegapunk even though he's the most intelligent person in the world and uh you know he knows all this um he doesn't know everything so uh, i think that's the reason why vegapunk uh didn't go into the pacifics of what happened in the void century because he didn't probably know he might have had sp um he, he he said he had like um you know speculations and also like uh theories but he didn't know um but it wasn't fact like he's all about the facts you know what i'm saying so uh, yeah so we uh you know cut to other people around the world we see zeph we see uh you know um the guys at the uh bridge at uh i don't remember where the uh bridge is being built i can't remember where it is um and then we also see our uh, robin and she's like covering her uh, face and she i don't know if you is crying but like she's covering her like face and uh yeah and i think the uh the message uh you know vegapunk's message has like stopped um we're not getting any more of like vegapunk's message so uh, yeah um then we see uh zoro uh nami jimby uh you know uh um lilith and also like um they are all like trying to blast off from where they are right now in the uh, sunny and they're trying to get away from uh you know ethan um they're trying to get away from you know the, the center and uh i mean you know, lilith says like we um if uh you know um, if uh, Ethan, uh, you know, attacks us while we're trying to, uh, you know, blast off, while we're trying to get away, uh, we won't be able to, uh, you know, land where we were meant to land, um, and we will uh, probably uh, crash and burn. Like, uh, we will, you know, suffer, you know, consequences if we do not, uh, you know, do this properly. And uh, he will keep on attacking us if someone don't, uh, if someone doesn't distract them. So, uh, yeah, and uh, that's when we see, uh, you know, Atlas, and uh, this is what the chapter's all about. You know, Atlas comes to their rescue. Um, she, uh, you know, punches Lilith um, to, you know, stop, her, um, you know, her from, you know, doing this sacrifice because, you know, Atlas is going to do, um, is going to sacrifice herself uh, to uh, save them. And uh, she punches Lilith uh, to knock her out and um, so that she doesn't stop Atlas from doing this. And everyone's like, you know, why did you do that? Why did you punch, you know, Lilith? And uh, she says, I will leave, you know, Lilith in your care. I'm um, going to take her to, I'm um, going to take her um, out back. So, uh, yeah. So then, um, you know, Atlas attacks, you know, Ethan, um, the centaur, and uh, they both, like, sort of, um, you know, um, she distracts, uh, you know, Ethan, and she attacks him, and uh, she loses an arm, and, uh, you know, Jimby, um, does the coup de burst, you know, blast, um, the, and blast off, and everyone gets on the, uh, ship, and they blast off, and, uh, Atlas sort of distracts, uh, you know, Ethan, um, for enough time for them to get away, so, uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, we see, uh, you know, Atlas, and she, uh, sacrifices herself, uh, I'm pretty sure this was going to happen, I knew this was going to happen, um, you know, there was death flags, you know, waving for, you know, Atlas, um, because she was going to, uh, you know, see what was going on with, uh, you know, um, with, uh, Zoro, Nami, Jimby, and Chopper, and Robin, and, uh, Lilith, and, you know, all those guys at, on the, uh, Sunny, and, and she, um, she wanted to uh, go and help them because they were late uh, to the rendezvous point. So, uh, yeah, 
So uh, she distracted uh, Ethan, um, you know, for enough time for them to get away. They used Kudo Burst to get away, and uh, yeah, and she sacrifices herself, and she, um, you know, dies. So uh, yeah, in this uh, chapter. So yeah. Then we go back to, uh, you know, Luffy and the uh, Iron Giant, and, uh, you know, they are versing the uh, Gorosei, and the Iron Giant uh, is talking to uh, Luffy, and it's uh, actually, you know, speaking to him, but um, the Iron Giant is referring to Luffy as Joy Boy, because, you know, Luffy is the reincarnation of Joy Boy, and he has the same sort of, like, feeling as him, the same sort of, like, energy, I guess you could say, and uh, yeah. So um, I'm pretty sure when it comes to uh, the robot, he is uh, connected to Luffy's devil fruit, the Nika Nika fruit, and uh, that's the reason why he was awakened, and uh, that's why he can, you know, um, see Luffy as Joy Boy because he's connected to Luffy's you know, um, devil fruit, um, because Luffy's devil fruit is the Nika fruit, the Sun God fruit, Joy Boy's fruit. So uh, yeah. So that's the reason why, you know, the um, the robot is connected to Luffy and is helping Luffy in this chapter. So, yeah. So, um, you know, all the uh, giants are like, uh, you know, this um, it's like a robot. Like, you know, they're all excited, um, you know, about this robot. Luffy is really excited about this robot. And it helps Luffy fight the uh, Gorosei. And the Gorosei are like towering over this, uh, you know, um, j um, this uh, robot. This robot is huge. It is massive, and the uh, Gorosei are like towering over it, and it's just like these, um, you know, these you know monsters, these beasts are so huge and so big. It's just ridiculous. Like the scaling in One Piece is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah. So Luffy and the giant are uh, you know fight. Uh, you know, um, I think it's um the uh, pig and the uh, and also the sandworm. Uh, those two Gorosei. So uh, yeah. And uh, we also see uh, Saint Saturn as well. Um, he is there as well. Um, the robot is uh, left behind to deal with the, uh, you know, Gorosei. And Luffy gets on the uh, boat with the, uh, you know, giants. And uh, he is about to leave with them. And the uh, robot, you know, basically says, you know, go. I will distract them. So, uh, yeah. So, um, they're trying to uh, leave and, uh, you know, get out of Egghead Island. And we see the... Uh, robot and he's ve he's facing one of them um, you know the sandworm and uh, he tries to use one of his like weapons and uh, because he's uh, really old um, because he's uh, rusted and everything like that he can't use the weapons that he has inside of him so uh, yeah he like holds up his fist and he tries to use one of his like you know um, weapons in his fist but he can't use it and the uh, sandworm I think it's like Jupiter I think his name is um you know I'm um, um, yeah, tries to basically, uh, you know, eat his arm. It basically, you know, takes off one of its arms and tries to eat it. And while he's trying to do the attack, uh, Sanji and also Frankie are just like, you know, all giddy about his attack. And they want to like, you know, see what the robot is cap um, you know, capable of and what his attack's going to do. But it doesn't do anything because the um, weapon that he's trying to use um, is all rusted and he can't use it. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, the robot really doesn't do very much. It just distracts the uh, Gorosei for them to get away. And, uh, yeah. And uh, it gets his arm taken out by the uh, sandworm, Jupiter. And, uh, yeah. We also see Saint Saturn jump off Jupiter and attack the uh, boat, the Elbaf ship. And, uh, yeah. And it's like... and. Um, uh, Saint Saturn is just like looking at them all like you I will not let you get away um you know Bonnie Kuma like he's just staring them down like menacingly he's like I will not let you get away Bonnie Kuma like you know it's like man he will not let them you know escape so I uh, yeah and then we see, uh, you know, the Sunny uh, do the Kudo Burst. Uh, they get away from, uh, you know, Ethan. Um, and, uh, you know, Ethan cuts down uh, Atlas and she sacrifices herself for, you know, the Straw Hats um, to get away. And, uh, yeah. 
And then we get to the final page of the uh, chapter, and uh, they uh, talk about, how, um, you know, the, uh, you know, Goldie Roger. Um, you know, this is, I think this is the final part about, you know, uh, Vegapunk's message, but it doesn't really, uh, you know, elaborate anything about this, but it just tells us that Goldie Roger, you know, um, you know, sailed around the world, and he, uh, you know, became the Pirate King, and, you know, all the, you know, all the rest of the stuff, you know, you know what, um, you know, what happened, you know what, you know, Pirate King Goldie Roger did, and uh, you know he knows about the Void Century. He knows about the truth of the, um, of the world and everything like that. So uh, yeah. And it seems like um, the um, Egghead Island is coming to an end. Um, you know, the Gorose are staring down the, uh, you know, robot, the Iron Giant. And uh, it seems like it's going to uh, fight the uh, Gorose off. And it seems like Atlas did, you know, get a, in a hit on Ethan. Uh, the side of his, like, head is all blown off. Um, and But he'll probably regenerate, so it's not a big deal. And, uh, yeah. And it seems like, uh, you know, York is the uh, final, um, you know, Vegapunk. Um, York is the final Vegapunk because Lilith being knocked out, she was, uh, you know, um, disconnected from, you know, punk records. So, uh, yeah, so she's out of, you know, commission and uh, all the other Vegapunks are out of commission. So she's the only one left. So, uh, yeah. And uh, that is basically the uh, chapter in a nutshell. There's not very much else to really, you know, go over when it comes to the uh, chapter. And uh, yeah. So yeah, so that is basically the uh, chapter in a nutshell. Um, I pretty much went over everything that happened in this chapter. Uh, there is no break next week, which is really cool. Um, there are going to be a color spread and also a, uh, you know, um, a this is probably going to be a big chapter next week. Um, you know, usually when there's a color spread, there's going to be something big that happens in the next chapter. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, this is your boy, Shonen Boy, signing out. You know, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, what did you think about this, uh, chapter? What do you think about the, uh, you know, Iron Giants staring down the Gorosei and fighting them? And what do you think about, you know, Atlas's, uh, sacrifice? Did you think this was going to happen? Uh, or you, uh, shocked, uh, to see, you know, Atlas Go, um, you know, the, um, the final Vegapunk that's not evil, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, put your thoughts down below of, uh, what you think's going to happen next, uh, anyways, this is your boy, Shonen Boy, signing out, have an awesome day.